Hey guys, it's Rob Zipek with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Flexil. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. Flexil is a great PDF reader for your work with PDF files on your iPad Pro. It costs about $9 even though it says free, you actually have in-app purchase for the full functionality of the application. I always look at Flexil as a baby or cheaper version of Liquid Text, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Liquid Text is better. I just want to clarify that, uh, which is something I'll need to talk about in a separate video. On the screen right now, I am on the home page of the application and I have a few documents and folders. These are arranged according to name, date or size. And you can also change the way the files look if you prefer bigger thumbnails or more details, whichever works for you. You can search through your files and this search tool will only search through the names of your documents and not their contents. At the bottom here, you can add a new folder. Let's name ours trial. On the top left corner, you have these three horizontal bars that take you to the navigation bar where you can go through your PDFs, study notes, or your trash. Your study notes are kept independent of your PDFs and I think this makes exporting your notes out of the application a lot easier. Your trash gets stored for a very long time. I have documents in here that I deleted in October 2017. I find it useful when you can restore your files whenever you want and it comes in very handy when you accidentally delete something. Then next you have your cloud services, iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive. Very basic but they work. You then have the option to backup and restore your files in the application. For your backup you can choose what you want to backup. Either you just want to backup your PDF documents or just your study notes and you can even backup both. When you are done selecting what you want to backup, tap backup, you'll get options to choose where you want to backup your notes. All the cloud services you have in the application are supported and you can also backup to your email or to iTunes share folder. Obviously for your iTunes backup you'll need to connect to iTunes and move to another device or computer. This is a great option for anyone who doesn't want their documents on cloud services for whatever reasons. Lastly on the navigation bar you have settings. Under general you have the option to have a two-page view. This is an option that I personally prefer because I get to see two pages of my documents on the screen. It gives it a real book feel that I like and when navigating it navigates one page at a time so you always have the previous page and the next page at any given time which is great for reading. So turning off the option of two page view gives you this look which I personally don't like very much and the horizontal scrolling doesn't make things any easier. But some might like this blank space you get at the bottom here. Unfortunately you can't write anything on that page which makes me wonder why the space is even there in the first place. Under the app settings you can manage your files, you can clear recent files which just means clearing the list not actually deleting the PDF files and you can empty the trash. Then you can customize how you export your study notes. You can choose to export your study notes with the page template or without it. Next, you can manage your cloud service accounts. Then you get a bit of information on Flexil and their privacy policies and stuff like that if you're interested. And then you have a link to their website. Under help, the application will show you a few tricks to use. They'll help you learn them step by step. Lastly, under settings, you can talk to the developer and send them some feedback and log information. Now let's talk about actually using the application. I prefer the application to have the two page view because I tend to cover up the second page. Just tap on the icon study notes and your notes will pop up. You can enlarge it to fix it the way you want. 
The toolbar at the top starts with the home icon which takes you back to the home page followed by the down facing arrow which takes you to this strange way of navigating through your pages. At the bottom you have recent files so you can quickly switch between your documents which is also very helpful. Next you have gestures. Some I get, some I don't. But basically this application tries to do so much for you with less effort. If you do a lot of reading this might come in very handy. Next we have the pen tool come in different sizes. The customization feels smooth and you can add a lot of different sizes to your pen selection. I hope the developers can add a fountain pen though because at the moment we only have one type of pen that you can use. The handwriting feels great actually which is probably the best ballpoint pen that I've used and if you want to be extremely minimalistic and cheap this is the application you'll probably ever need for your studies because it can easily be your PDF reader and your note taking application and the great thing is that this application is free in code so you can try it out and see if you like the handwriting in it before you purchase it you also have highlights just in case you don't want to use the gestures and you like your highlights all messy and stuff though i think that the highlighter is meant for the notes that you write in the application on your notebook than on the actual pdf but you can use either you then have the eraser i love the way it feels when you're using it it erases per stroke Lastly, we have the ruler which straightens out your lines. I suggest using this for underlining and highlighting. That's just my personal preference. It doesn't really do a good job with drawing shapes, which means you can't draw circles or curves. So bear that in mind if you're planning to make this your note-taking application. Removing the Apple Pencil Bluetooth deactivates palm rejection, which means your finger can now draw on the page. I'm sure you guys can tell that's my finger drawing on the screen right now because the level of inaccuracy is ungodly. You can add text to both your PDF file and your notes and a little box forms around it and you can copy and delete the text. There seems to be very little that you can do with your text in this application. Flexil is a relatively new app so I get that they are still developing but more customization for text would be really great. Then you have the option to add an image to where you want from your photo library or you can take a photo with your camera. Next we have the study note. Interesting thing is that the study notes can actually move around between PDFs which is fantastic. Um, that means your notebooks are not linked or tied to any particular PDF which means if you need to study from different textbooks you can do that and collect notes from all the PDFs which is really a great move. Tapping on this note icon takes you to a window where you can navigate your notebook you can add more pages and you can edit your pages. Here you can move your pages to other study notes. That's also a smart option. And you can also delete and copy pages. You can expand the study notes, which means that you can actually use this application purely for note taking. The search icon searches through the PDF only and it doesn't search through the study notes even though there is text in the study notes which can be limiting if you are someone who's big on searching your study notes. When exporting from, Flex, from Flexil the application takes you to this window where you can select what pages you want to export and you can export to any application that will open PDF files. You can even email the document from the application with a tap. This is one of the applications that I found that has really easy integration with email and it doesn't really complicate the process of exporting to your email. Finally, you have these three horizontal bars that can help you navigate your PDF. You can see the thumbnails of your PDF file. You can look at the contents page if your PDF has one. Not all PDF files have this contents page, so sometimes it will be empty. Then you can view your bookmarks and you you can add new bookmarks with this plus icon. You can rename your bookmark and tap OK. Then you have your bookmark edit. And finally, you can view your annotated pages. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you think about Flexil in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.